I want you to pray for yourself. Lord, I reject the spirit of weakness. I reject the spirit of lukewarmness. I reject the spirit of slumber. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray for yourself. I reject the spirit of weakness. I reject the spirit of lukewarmness. I reject the spirit of slumber. In the name of Jesus, power that in the Holy Ghost. I refuse to be weak. 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 I reject the spirit of weakness. I reject the spirit of slumber. I reject the spirit of weakness. I love of destiny arise for me. Those who should see me will see me. Lift up your voice and pray for yourself this morning. After this revival, open my eyes. Open their eyes. Those who should see me will see me. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. After this revival, send me air parts of destiny. Send me air of destiny. Those who should see me will see me. After this revival, those who should see me will see me. Those who should see me will see me. marketing problem. You don't have a qualification problem. It's a spiritual problem. You do sponsor hard, yet they don't see you. You put powder, yet they don't see you. Lord, after this revival, those who should see me will see me. After this encounter, after this impartation service, those who should see me will see me. Those who should see my business will see my business. Those who should see my destiny will see my destiny. I love my mother. After this encounter, after this encounter, those who should see me, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Hey! 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 Hey!
There is someone here, the enemy wants to disgrace you. You lift up your voice. Every force that wants to disgrace me, Every force that be disgraced by fire. Every force that wants to disgrace me, be disgraced by fire. Every power that wants to disgrace me, be disgraced by fire. I want you to pray passionately. Pray passionately. Pray passionately. Fire. Fire for fire this morning. Every power that wants to disgrace me, I'm 
your hand. Call my name. Call my name. Say Joseph. I say you should call my name. Say it very loud. Say Joseph. Begin to do well now. In the name of Jesus. Joseph, begin to do well. Begin to do well. Begin to do well. Begin to do well. In life and ministry. Joseph, begin to do well. Call your name. Begin to do well. Begin to do well. Just have begin to do it. 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 Run, 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 Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord.
feeling upon seven people right now. A special release of fire upon seven people now. Where are they? Where are they? A special feeling. A special infilling of the Holy Ghost. Santa Special release of fire upon seven of you right now. Kashka balada balada kata. 
no more shed tears in your life. You will not. I am a Shanta Melokota. You will no more shed tears. You will no more shed tears. You will no more shed tears. You will no more. I am a lava. You shall no longer cry in life. You shall no longer cry in life. Ira poka toska parata barabata. Ila matoka tasko parata. Yes. Yes. You will no longer shed tears. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 It's an impartation service. It's an impartation service. I speak live upon your certificate. Shalom Rabatakota Yalabatabakata. Every force disturbing your life, disturbing Ayala out, out by fire, out, 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 in the name of Jesus, out, 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 out. Yes, yes. Take your seat. Be in the spirit. Be in the spirit this morning. Balada, 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 bagada. 
Anyone on the floor, don't wake them. Just leave them. They will stand by themselves when it's time. The Holy Ghost is working on so many people. Working on so many people. Working on so many people. But Lambada, this is one service with a difference. It's an unusual service. It's impartation service. And the katos ke parata vale kata la bata kata ske parata kata ira melos ke parata katos ke parata kata ira bata mana kota sada la bata kata ira bata kota ske parata vala da bata ila kata ske parata da bata da kata ila bata kata ske parata. Yes, that's the power of the Holy Ghost. He's the spirit of revival. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. He's the spirit of revival. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Be filled with the Spirit. And I want you to be in the Spirit. Don't be an onlooker. Just be in the Spirit. I'll teach a little, but while I'm teaching, you are free to interrupt me. You are free to interrupt me. While I'm teaching, the power of God will be surging through this auditorium. And everyone will be receiving their portion. Everyone will be receiving their portion. Oh. 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 Woman. Thou art loose. 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 Woman, thou art loose. Oh da Somebody shout, today is my day. Don't be an onlooker. This is a prophetic service. While this word is going, interrupt me. The Holy Ghost will be coming upon you as we share the word. It will be baptizing you afresh. Many chains are loose right now and many are still being loosed. Many are still... Aya! 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 Ah, Radima Katanada. Whatever is holding you down, I break that chain down. I, I break and the Koshalaba Lada Bada Dagada Labada Dabagada. I break that chain right now. I break and my neck skip a letter. Pray in the tongue, pray in tongues, everybody pray in tongues. I break that chain right now. I break that chain right now. Pray in tongues. I break that chain right now. I break that chain right now. Pray in tongues. I break that chain now. 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 Yes. Salaga da la ba da da ba da. Salaga da da. Don't take that lady outside. Leave the lady. Leave the lady. Don't take her outside. Shalema konda la da ba da da kata. Asaka na ba da da ba da. Break that chain right now. Bring out to the front here. Bring out to the front. Let go. Da 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 da
Just leave out the altar here. Just leave out. Give us there. Shalemanda Katala Mada Daka. Yarekota Satala Mada. Lekoma Tama da 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 da. Everything holding you down. It's time. It's time. It's time. Hold on now. Hold on. Come on. Hold on the horses. Hold on. Everything holding you down. It's time to go. It's time to go. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of salvation. Whatever is holding you down, it's time to go. Pray, 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 pray the Holy Ghost. Maluska balada balada da 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 da. Yele balada da 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 da. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. Today is the day of salvation. It's time to go. It's time to go. In the name of Jesus, every force holding on the white down, I command you to lose them now. Lose them and let them go. 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 Shaka Every force holding them down. Lose them and let them go. Today is your day. Today is your day. Take your seat. Take your seat and be in the spirit. Today is your day. Today is your day. Today is your day. Today is your day. Help them to go back to their seat. They are free. Be in the spirit. Be in the spirit. Help them to go back to their seats. We need more ladies to come and help her here. Sam, get out of that place. We need more ladies. Yes. It's your turn now. Yes. Help them to go back to their seats. Ah. Or do I leave her alone? Mind your business. Shalabate come the sata. Everybody go back to our seat. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to get served in this impartation service. Yes. There will be a lot of interruption in this service. A lot of interruption. Interrupt me. Interrupt me. Interrupt me. And swim in your own river in this service. Interrupt me. Interrupt me. Everyone that is tambourine, now receive your children. Place your hand on your stomach. Receive your children. Receive your children. Receive your children. Let this word become flesh right now. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Oh, yes. 
Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We have been waiting for this day. Now the impartation is here. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Your prayer level, we go to another level right now. Beginning from today, your prayer life, we go to another level. Yes! Your prayer life, there will be a change of level. No more weakness in the spirit. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Listen to me. Impartation is real. It's very real. Romans 1 11. Paul says, I long to see you that I may impart to you some spiritual gift. Impartation is real. I long to see you that I may impart to you spiritual gift. We are product of many meetings. You know, this impartation service, it will take you far. You will never be small. Hosea 12 verse 13 by a prophet Israel left Egypt by a prophet the Lord preserved them the Lord preserved them ah I told you so many interruptions so many interruptions in this service As Peter was speaking, the power of God fell upon all of them. I want you to be thirsty. Be hungry. Lord, I want this fire. I want this revival. I want to sustain it. I want to carry it to the world. See, by reason of this impartation, your destiny will no longer be local. Everything tying you down, holding you down, you'll be shocked. John 7 37. In the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried. What would make Jesus cry? He was saying, If any man thirst, let him come to me and drink. The condition for this empowerment is your task this morning. If anyone tasks, let them come. Are you hungry? Are you thirsty? Lord, I, I must leave this level. I must leave this level. Empowerment of the spirit. In this service, let fresh fire come upon my destiny. Everything holding me down, tying me to where I don't belong. Let those chains be broken forever. If anyone tasked, are you dissatisfied with your current level? Your, your, it's your yearning. If anyone tasked, let him come. And let him come and drink. 
Isaiah 44 verse 3, God does not waste his water. I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. Flood upon dry ground. I only pour my flood if the ground is dry. I pour my water when I see a thirsty stone. Isaiah 55 verse 1. Let the one who is thirsty, let it come and drink. Isaiah 55 verse 1. If you are thirsty, come to the water. Come without money. They don't use money to buy Holy Ghost. Come and eat. Come without money. Come and drink wine and meat without money, without price. The condition is your task. Lord, I am set for a deeper experience with you. That's your prayer point now. Lord, I am set for a deeper experience with you. Will you lift up your voice and pray that into your life? In this service this morning, I am set for a deeper experience with you. I am set for a deeper experience with you. Fill me this morning. Fill me today. Fill me in this service. I am set for a deeper experience with you. I am set for a deeper experience with you. I am set for a deeper experience with you. In the name of Jesus. Pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Lord, we are set. Lord, we are set. Island Church is set. Joseph Aboro, why is set? Lord, set me on fire. Quicken my spirit. Empower me like never before. Set me on fire. Set me on fire. Set me on fire. Ayala da 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 Sound of Revival Part 9. Sound of Revival Part 9. Those who are thirsty and hungry, the Lord will fill them. He will fill them. Why this message is going on, He will fill them. He will fill them. This is not our normal service. It's, it's uh, impartation. And the Holy Ghost is the one imparting everyone. You better get ready and take your own thing. And go deeper in this river. I've not called the seed of Jacob to seek me in vain. Joel 2.28 Sound of Revival Part 9 I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. And that's what the Lord is doing this morning. I'll pour it like water. I'll pour it like river. Spirit of revival. Sound of revival part nine. I will be talking about the spirit of revival. I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. I will pour it. There is something called the spirit of revival. And that's what we'll be sharing this morning. Spirit of revival. And the spirit of revival is the Holy Ghost. I will pour my spirit upon our flesh. The Holy Ghost is the spirit of revival. John 7 from verse 37. It's like a river. That's why he says, I will, he used the word pour. 
in the last day, the great day of the feast, he stood at the door. Anyone who is thirsty, let him come and drink. You drink only from water. You drink for that which has been poured out. Verse 38. He said, he that believe on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. And 39 says, this is speak of the spirit. This is speak of the spirit. Capital S. Because the Holy Ghost has not been released as at this day. It was prophesying that if you want the power of the Holy Ghost, the spirit of revival, you got to yearn, you got to task for it. The Holy Ghost is poured like a river. God pour it on people. I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughter, they shall prophesy. Then your, your old men and women, they dream, dream. Ezekiel 47 tell, tells us more about this spirit which is like a pouring spirit, which is like a river. Ezekiel 47 from verse 1. Then it goes to verse 2. He said, I meant an angel. And the angel measured a thousand cubits, and it was unto my ankle. Then he measured again another thousand. It was to my nail. He measured another thousand. It was to my loin, my waist area. Then he measured another thousand. It became a river that cannot be passed over. And that is the kind of anointing upon Jesus. Spirit without measure. And in that Ezekiel 47, everywhere this river flows, there is healing. Do you know in this short time that we manifested the spirit, all manner of healing have taken place in this auditorium. I want you to check your body. All manner of healing, transformation, deliverances. Deliverances, deliverances. Somebody you hear here today, you will no longer be limited by the forces of darkness. You will no longer, everything disturbing you in the night, you will look for them and not find them. They are gone forever. Limitation is gone. Embargo placed on you is gone. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me. In the next seven days, from now, you begin to hear news. News of the doings of God in your life. In your family. In your generation. Every limitation removed. New job in the next seven days. What you could not do since this year began. In the next seven days, God will put it in your hand. This river brings healing. Everywhere the river flow is a river of life. It brings healing. It brings transformation. It's the spirit of revival. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of revival. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 6 it says it's a life-giving spirit. We have been made able minister of the New Testament not of the letters but of the spirit. For the letter kills but the spirit what does it do? It's a life-giving spirit. The spirit gave life. Talk about Jesus. Romans 8, 11. If the same spirit, the revival spirit, that raised Jesus from the dead, dwells in you. That spirit we vitalize. We quicken. We give life to your mortal body. You can't carry the Holy Ghost and be carrying sickness. You can't carry the Holy Ghost and fail in life. Somebody shouted this morning, I refuse to fail. Is that a shout? Say, I refuse to fail. Shout and let failure be afraid of you. I refuse to fail. That look more like it one more time. Can't carry fire and fail in life. After this revival is multiplication. Business people, you begin to do well. There will be transformation. There will be change. In the name of Jesus. Businessmen and women, in this service, take instruction. The Lord will be telling you what to do as you resume your business tomorrow. Take instruction. Take instruction. It's your life. It will preserve you. The spirit of revival is the Holy Ghost. And in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, you will receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. This is where we are going. 
all this message about revival is to arrive at this destination. You will receive power, the spirit of revival. After the Holy Ghost. You don't receive it before, it is after the Holy Ghost. When this power comes, everything will change. Then you notice, he said, after you receive this power, then you can become witness. The word witness is win in marketplace. Win in ministry. Win in the palace. Those of you who came from royal family, the hand of God is resting heavily upon you. Very soon in Island Church, you begin to see prince here. You begin to see king here. Because the unction to return to your heritage and you become anointed kings. Who don't worship idol? Men and women in politics are, are going to rise from this assembly. You will receive power. The word power is ability to do. Before now, you are not able to do. You will receive power. Ability to be a witness. Then you go. Win in business. Win in career. Win in politics. Win in anything. Win in ministry. Many men of God will arise from this meeting. Anointed men of God. But it is after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Not before. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of revival. When he come, he enable people to do things that naturally they cannot do in their ability. The Holy Ghost will be touching the brain of many people here. You forget things easily, not after the service. I've, I see Kopalia, so everybody praying the Holy Ghost now. Pray in the Spirit right now. Pray in the, the Lord is touching your mind. Pray in the Holy Ghost. You, for, you forget this. Lay your hand on your head. Receive the Holy Ghost. You will receive power to remember things. After the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Power to remember things. After the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Make it louder. Make it louder. Make it louder. I wish you would pray louder. Spirit of revival. Shalakatala bakata. No more forgetfulness. No more amnesia. I have the mind of Christ. Receive power now. Students, receive empowerment now. This power is after. After this empowerment is retentive memory. Receive power. Receive power. After this empowerment, his sound mind. You are 30 seconds more. Make it deeper and louder. My mind is blessed. My memory is blessed. I have the sound mind. I have sound mind. My mind is blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. God will never use you without empowerment. You receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. When Jesus was sending them out in Luke chapter 10, verse 19, the Bible says, he empowered them. Behold, I am not giving you money as, I'm, as you are going. I give to you power to tread upon serpent and scorpion and over all the powers of the enemy. And nothing shall by any mistake, shall by any means hurt you. I give you power. To dominate your world. You can't be an effective witness in the marketplace, in ministry, without empowerment. In this house this morning, God is releasing a new generation of ministers, of singers, anointed singers, singers who sing spirit, 
who can catch the flow, who receive melodies from heaven, who back up angels. We become witness after empowerment. So God is raising new generation of scientists here this morning. New generation of politicians. Politicians without greed. New generation. God is raising giants in business places. All well owners. Bank CEOs and chairmen. Real estate mongrel. People who are going to be dealing in multi-billion transactions. Empowerment. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you. After this empowerment, you receive creativity, witty invention. Many of you, 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 will, ex, you will employ expatriate, white people will be working for you. You will remember when this day, when it comes to pass, not less than 200 expatriates in your employment that you are paying salary to because you have received power. It's now time to go and win in the marketplace. You have received the power to do. Even Jesus could not do ministry successfully without this empowerment. Acts chapter 10 verse 38. How God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost. I told you is the spirit of empowerment. He was anointed with the Holy Ghost. The word anointed means he was empowered. He was revived. He was charged with the spirit of revival. The Holy Ghost. Then he went about doing good. We try to reverse scripture. People want to do good without empowerment. Somebody just leaves school. He has gone to register NGO. He wants to be giving people money. You don't have power. You yourself, you need NGO to help you. So what, what do you want to do? I just want to be helping you, you, humanity. You have good idea. What you lack is empowerment. You, how God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and power. Then he went about doing good. You want to help widow when you have not been empowered. You need power to go there and do the great things God has laid on your heart. If you belong to this category, lift up your two hands. You just want to help humanity. You have kind heart for people. Lift up your two hands today. Right now, receive empowerment. Does your heart bleed when you see people suffer? What you lack is power. He went about doing good. Healing all that were oppressed of the devil because God was with him. You may have good heart, but when you lack empowerment, you can't do what is in your heart. You have good heart. You want to help the women in the Yoruba church. You want to come here one Sunday and give all of them 100, 100,000 naira with a bag of rice, with tomatoes, because the economy is harsh and God has helped you. Is anybody like that in church this morning? Receive grace to do what is in your heart. You're going to the Yoruba church teachers and ask them, how many women do we have? How many widows do we have in this church? And you want to clothe them? You want to celebrate them? You just want to rejoice with them? Who went about doing good. Because he has been anointed to do it. When you are not anointed, your good idea will die with you. Because there is no empowerment. You need the spirit of revival to do what is in your heart. To do the vision that God has given to you. If you don't want your vision to remain at the state of write down the vision, make it plain that he that readeth it may run with it. If you don't want us just to be reading it, if you want to turn vision to action, to reality, you need power. You need empowerment for all your good dreams to come to pass. So until he says you will receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you, then you can be witness. How God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and power. Then he went about 
doing good. Without that power, Jesus will not do any good. But after the empowerment, he went about healing all that were oppressed of the devil because God was with him. But something amazing in Acts chapter 2, verse 1, verse 2, 4. You know, we were reading Acts chapter 1, verse 8. That's how we got here. The, it was promised that, hey, gentlemen, for you guys to manifest, do good in life, be well to do, stay until you are endued with power. In chapter 2, when the days of physicals was fully come, the power came. But it's a case of what we order versus what was delivered. What we order is the Holy Ghost. What was delivered is tongue. What is the relationship between tongue and the Holy Ghost? He promised us Holy Ghost. What came in verse 2? The Bible says when the day was come, um, they were all in one account. Then in verse 2, suddenly came a rushing mighty wind from heaven. And he filled the house where they were filled. Then what appeared to them was cloven tongue like of fire. And this thing sat on what was delivered was tongue. What was ordered was Holy Ghost. There is a relationship between the tongue in tongue and the power of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Ghost came, it came with language. There is a language of the Spirit. The starting point for every believer is for you, after you are born again, is to be baptized in the Holy Ghost. If you don't talk in tongue in this house this morning, you have put a limit on your life by yourself. But you know this morning, the Spirit of God will fill everyone. If you are thirsty, if you are hungry for it. One of the men I shared with you last Sunday is Smith Wiggy's word. His life took a turn after, the, after he received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. His ministry took a turn after he received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. When this power come upon you, the first thing is going to change your communication. It's going to change your language. You can't receive the Holy Ghost and be talking the way you used to talk. This tongue must be loose. And that's why some of you in this service, you see you talking faster than you would normally do. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. That's the language of the Spirit. Maybe somebody is here, Pastor, I, I have not spoken in tongues because I don't understand what people are saying. You are not meant to understand. It is another gift when you speak it and you can interpret it. It's called interpretation of tongues. Then there is another dimension if you can deep this morning. It's called diverse kind of tongue. Where the tongue is not just limited to a particular vocab, a particular just language. You go divers. And somebody with the gift of interpretation of tongue can receive from the Spirit what you are saying by the Holy Ghost. So when we talk about the Spirit of revival, what will be delivered is the tongue of revival. And this morning, if you have a prayer language of the Spirit, if you don't have the miracle start from now, just open your mouth, whatever the Spirit of God release upon you, begin to speak it right now. Everybody, the loudest in your lifetime, pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Revival has started. I want you to speak tongue of revival. My God. My God. Speak tongue of revival. If this tongue will not move you, it will not move God. Make it louder and stronger. Speak it passionately. Let it become loud and deep. What was delivered is tongue. This tongue is not loud enough, my brother. Make it stronger this morning. Yes, Hallelujah. You know people who are going somewhere by the way they speak. Now I say you should speak in tongues. See the way you are doing. Yama 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 y
we're looking, we're looking for men and women who are going to turn their world upside down. We're going to make prophecy come to pass in their life. Can I give you another two minutes to do something, something harder and, lo and louder in the spirit? Something louder. Something louder. Something louder. Something louder. Something louder. Something louder. Get serious. Get serious. Something louder in the spirit. Be filled with the spirit. Your utterance tell us how far you will go. Your communication tell us how far you will go. Somebody be violent in the spirit right now. Shut up! It cannot stay. It cannot stay. It cannot stay. It cannot stay. Fire blood cannot stay in your body. Fire blood cannot stay in your body. Shut up! Make it louder. My dear, make it louder. Hey! Hey! Rakopara, that devil is a liar. That I Hallelujah. Take your seat. Take your seat. Somebody just receive healing right now. That fibroid is gone. It can't stay in your body. It can't stay in your body. That devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. That devil is a liar. Paul Shilaka. Pretoske peroske palata kata. While Peter was speaking, the power of God fell upon all that had him. Speak it in tongues. Speak it in tongues, speak it in tongues, speak it in tongues. When we talk about the Holy Ghost, we are talking about the tongue of the Spirit. We're talking about the language of the Spirit. What I'm going to do immediately after this short exhortation, I'm going to let you loose. You will speak tongues you have never spoken before in your life. See, you can't be this old and your tongue will be immature. Children church, they speak in tongue. And our children speak fervent tongues. Tongue of fire. I want you to pray in tongues with fire in your voice. The story must change. This, when your tongue changes, then revivals come. There is no revival without the manifestation of the spirit which come in form of a change of our language, a communication. Benefit of speaking in tongues. I just shared that with you briefly. Then we begin to manifest the spirit. Thank you, Lord. Number one benefit of speaking in tongue is refreshing. Rest. Refreshing. Isaiah 28, 11 to 12. This is the refreshing where it will cause those who are really verse 12 to have rest. People who speak regularly in tongue, they enter a realm of refreshing. It's a realm of rest. They are ref the word refreshing, they are refreshed. No tension, no trouble. Dollar is 1,700, no shaking. They are, they are at rest, they are at peace. Number two, those who, those who pray regularly in turn assess the will of God. Number two, they assess the will of God. Romans 8, 26 and 27. Likewise, the spirit help our limitation. The word infirmity there is limitation. Because we don't know what we should pray as we ought. But the spirit prays through us with groanings that cannot be intercepted. That cannot be uttered. He that knows what is in the mind of the spirit. 
Because he, he that searches his heart knows what is in the mind of the spirit. Because he makes intercession for us according to the will of God. When you pray regularly in the spirit, you assess the will of God. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 2. 1 Corinthians 14, he said, He that speak not in an unknown tongue, speak not unto man, but he speaks to God. How be it in the spirit? He speaks mysteries. Perfect will of God. So when you pray regularly in tongue, you assess the will of God. Somebody has been praying, Lord, what is your will on this matter? Pray in tongues. Regularly in tongues. Number three, those who pray regularly in tongue enter the realm of possibilities. Philippians 4 verse 13, I can do all things. Who make this kind of statement? This look like a proud statement. I can do all things. You go to your office tomorrow and shout, I can do all things. Say, so you mean it? Can we try you? Somebody shout it, I can do all things. If you leave the statement at that, then people say you are proud. But why, why am I making that statement? Can you read the next thing? Through Christ that strengthens me. I can't do it with my intelligence, but there is an engine on the inside of me. A fire on the inside of me. Those who pray regularly in tongues, they enter the realm of possibilities. Anything is possible to a tongue-talking believer. Ephesians 3.20 Unto him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above everything we ask or think. Can you imagine? This engine can do what above what we are even thinking. He's still in the realm of the imagination. He said, but there is God who can do above all you think or ask according to the engine, the power that walk on the inside of you. If you care to pray in tongues, you will do beyond your expectation. God will exceed your expectation. You will enter the realm of possibility. Number four, those who pray regularly in tongues, they build their capacity. God wants to do very great things for you, but limited capacity is the issue. Proverbs 24, 10, those who faint in the days of battle is because their strength is small. 1 Corinthians 14, verse 4, he that pray in an unknown tongue edify himself. Build. The word edify means to build himself. Capacity building. Jude verse 20. Building up yourself in your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost. When we pray in the spirit, we build capacity. Number five. When you pray in the Holy Ghost regularly, you embolden yourself. Boldness. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 4. The word edify in that scripture means to be emboldened. Acts chapter 4 verse 31. They told them not to speak in the name of Jesus. Acts 4 31. But the Bible says when they pray, the place where they pray were shaken and they were filled with the Holy Ghost and they speak the word of God with boldness. What they told them not to do, they received boldness to do it. I want a man that will revive to heaven. Every embargo placed on your destiny, they are lifted forever. Yeah. After this revival, what they told you not to do, you begin to do them. Hey, yeah. Praying regularly in the spirit, bring boldness. Boldness! No more fear! Number six, those who pray regularly in the spirit, they receive the spirit of wisdom. No, they don't walk in error. Spirit of wisdom. They walk in wisdom. Isaiah 11, 2 to 3, he told us about the seven spirits that make Jesus. In verse 2, you see the seven spirits that make Jesus. He said, the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom, understanding, counsel, these first three, they, are, they have something to do with wisdom. You can't counsel if you are not wise. Understanding is a relation of wisdom. Then might is different. Um, spirit of knowledge. Wisdom and knowledge, they go together. 
The spirit of the fear of the Lord, which is the beginning of wisdom. Five of the spirit that made Jesus, they have something to do with wisdom. So when you pray regularly in the spirit, if you go to verse 3, you will see the result of this. He said, when the spirit is at work with you, it will make you of quick understanding. That's why I say lay your hand on your head. You can't forget things again. You will be of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. Because you walk in wisdom. No more forgetfulness. Have you wondered every time you forget things, the moment you start praying the Holy Ghost, you remember. Because it's the spirit of wisdom. People who pray regularly in the spirit, they walk in wisdom. We have not been given the spirit of fear, but we have been given the spirit of boldness, sound mind. That's what I have. I have the mind of Christ. I can do all things through Christ that energizes me. Number what are we right now? I think we will stop there. Number seven. Those who pray regularly in the spirit, they enter into realm of results. Speaking in tongues will make you walk in the realm of results. It brings results. Isaiah 32, verse 15. Until the spirit be poured on us from on high, the wilderness will be full fulfilled. And the fruit fulfilled will be counted to be a forest. Acts chapter 2 verse 41. When the Holy Ghost came, verse 41, the Bible says 3,000 people multiplication, result, gave their life to Jesus after the advent. In the same chapter that the Holy Ghost came. Are you ready this morning? This morning I would like you to practice what we have just learned. The Holy Ghost is the spirit of revival. In a short while, we're going to erupt the same way we started. We're going to pray intensely in the spirit. I enter into this realm of all possibility. I enter into the realm of boldness. No more forgetting things. I enter into the realm of, of knowing the will of God. Staying in the will of God. I enter into the realm of rest. Into the realm of refreshing. I enter into the realm of all possibility. I build my capacity. Now lift up your voice and pray in the spirit right now. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit this morning. 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 Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit this morning. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, pour your spirit upon us today. As we pray, Holy Ghost, pour your spirit upon us today. As we pray, God is looking for men and women who are not tired. Pour it afresh, Lift up your voice this morning. Holy Ghost. Pour your spirit of fresh upon us. The marital destiny of many is released right now in prayer. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Fight a fresh law. Fight a fresh law. Fight a fresh law. Fight a fresh law. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Bring up the gospel to him now. 
Bring every consent to him now. Bring every consent to him now. Jesus, 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 in Jesus' name we pray. Everybody stand on your feet. Everybody stand on your feet. Now, this is the impartation. We're going to pray from Isaiah 11, verse 2. In verse 2, you see seven spirits there. Isaiah 11, verse 2. That's where we're praying for. The spirit of wisdom, spirit of understanding, spirit of counsel, spirit of mind, spirit of knowledge, spirit of the fear of the Lord. Let the spirit of the Lord rest upon me right now. That's where we're going to pray for. This seven spirit that made Jesus, let them rest upon me. Now, while we are praying, those of you who are into anything technology, anything technology, you do coding, computer science, computer engineering, you develop HAP, anything technology, come, come and join me in front while we pray in the Holy Ghost. Anybody doing anything that has to do with technology, come and join me in front here. Now, everybody lift up your hand, pray in the spirit right now. Pray in the spirit right now. Those of you in front, pray this seven spirit into your life. Lord, fill me with the spirit of wisdom. Spirit of all this, your heart, they will go global. They will go global. Anybody doing anything that has to do with technology, technology, IT, engineering, come. Software, software, come. Everybody lift up your two hands. Project Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2. Let this seven spirit of the Lord. Become operational in my life from today. Lift up your voice. Everybody pray. This is the impartation now. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Those of you in front, be expectant. The hand of God is coming upon you heavy. Everything will change from this service. Everything will change from this side. Pray the Holy Ghost. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Today is your day. Today is your day. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. If they have been pressed, let them go. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Fire! 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 Fire!
Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Be filled with the Spirit of Wisdom. Be filled with the Spirit of Wisdom. Be filled with the Spirit of Wisdom. Receive the Holy Ghost. Yes. Lift up your two hands. Oh Jesus, fire! 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 Holy Ghost! The fear of wisdom! The fear of the spirit of wisdom! The fear of the spirit of wisdom! In the name of Jesus! In the name of Jesus! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, lift up your two hands, everyone. Inside, outside, lift up your two hands. Now, the loudest you can, say with me, I receive. Now, this is impartation. Shout it. I receive. I receive. The spirit of the Lord. The spirit of the Lord. The spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. The spirit of counsel. The spirit of The spirit of understanding. The spirit of understanding. The spirit of might. The spirit of might. You are 30. When you walk for two hours, you are tired. You need the spirit of might. That was the spirit that made Samson. The spirit of mind. The spirit of mind. The spirit of mind. The spirit of mind. Lift up your two hands. Shout it. I receive. I receive. The spirit of mind. Spirit of mind. I don't know who I'm praying for, but your amen will show it. Your strength will not fail you again. Amen. As you leave this impartation service, you go in the energy of the Holy Ghost. Receive the spirit of knowledge. Receive the spirit of the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. After this impartation, everything changed. There is a turnaround. Turn around in your life. Coming for this service, the Lord told me, He said, He is releasing the marital destiny of many. If you don't, if it doesn't concern you, please give me a revived amen for somebody it concerned. Everyone whose marital destiny is tied down, be released right now. Be released right now. Be released right now. In the name of Jesus. After this impartation, go and multiply. Go and win. Win in life. Win in ministry. Win in the marketplaces. In the name of Jesus. Lift up those two hands. Whatever you lay this hand upon from today will prosper in your hand. Ah, who am I praying for? You will not know failure. You will not know defeat. You will not see shame. Somebody, amen, is the loudest. You will not fail again. You will not be defeated again. These two hands lifted to heaven, you will prosper with it. Amen. You will do well with it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Everywhere they mention your name, it will be glory, Amen. prosperity, Amen. success. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Let the hand of God rest upon you, rest upon your business. Rest upon all that concerns you. In the name of Jesus. This morning I bless you with the blessing of a prophet. I bless you with the blessing of a pastor. 
Now, everything I say, amen, right now, personalize the amen loud and clear. I declare you are blessed with prosperity. Amen. You are blessed with abundance. Amen. I heard the voice of the Lord. You will end this year great. Amen. If the Lord is talking about you, you will end this year great. Amen. You will end this year blessed. You will end this year in wealth. Amen. You will end this year in abundance. Amen. In the next seven days, testimonies. Amen. Between now and next Sunday, your own testimony. Amen. Who is that person? We will rejoice with you. Amen. We will read your testimony. Amen. You will share it on this altar. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen.